I think that was a headshot. It's kind of hard to say. Where are you going, Bubba? Coming this way? What? What are you doing? All right. Let's get some more handgun points here. Shoot him in the nuts. Nothing else is coming after me, right? This guy's got the worst brain worms, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, we killed him. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to tackle uh, the jum jungle gym boxing uh, rink. We've got a fetch quest, and uh, see how this goes. I think I have been in here before, like maybe on on Undead Legacy, but I couldn't say for sure. It's definitely not a POI that I'm intimately familiar with, we'll say. So, wake up, Bubba. And he's taking a nap, isn't he? So uh yeah, let's uh do the usual here. Get the get the fetch out of the way first. Um is there anything we could maybe loot first? Not really. Uh nothing in range anyway. Um so let's get started with this and then we'll see how things go. Lots of gut piles, that's really good for making uh, our stuff. Hobo stew. Let's see what's inside this box here. I uh, will take that and that. So looks like the satchel is on this level, but it's way over on the other side of the building. Both these are broken vending machines, which is very good from the standpoint of getting some steel from them. Hopefully that's not a cop and it's just a that's so. Hawaiian Zombo. Used to call him Hawaii 50, but he doesn't look quite as Hawaiian as he used to. His shirt. Okay, so we're waking more <coughs> more Zeke's up. <coughs> and something's getting busted in here. Not sure where the breaking is happening. A lot of Z's in there, too. Okay, we got a crawler over here. Let's get our stuff down here, and that can go there. I'm going to block this off just to buy us a couple of seconds if we get rushed from from that direction. Oh, he he reached through and damaged it. Oh, actually though, okay. I guess we'll just let him break that. We need to, we need to go for the satchel first before we really mess around with anything else. And we're not bound to stay within the you know, the uh, vicinity. Okay, so let's close this door again. Uh, we are getting some zombs ready to break through, so let's put this back down again. Why can't I upgrade that? Oh, because I didn't bring wood with me again. Son of a bitch. Alright. Are you guys feral? Oh, yeah. Yes, you are. Okay, let's just wait a couple of moments until the door's getting close. Actually, we don't really need to because the explosives work through the door. Okay. that there for a second. All right, we'll get a two for... No, we can get a three for here. Very nice. Okay. Now, what's going on here? You're not even feral. You're just normal. 
Okay, they broke my frame. Okay, all good up to this point. Yeah, let's get the satchel first, like I said, and then we can check their other rooms afterwards. So, we're going all the way over there. Um, all right, let's do some pulling so we don't get everybody all at the same time. You'll notice, too, that I have switched to a silenced pistol for pulling, and we have, at least for the time being, um, set aside the crossbow. And I have, like, no points at all in handguns, so this is more for pulling than for killing, but we'll use it to get, you know, start leveling it, too. All right, we got a janitor over here. The silencer, um, you know, blocks the sight, which kind of sucks for the longer range shots, but is what it is. Okay, so he did. Um, we got Fatso in the ring. Let's pull him next. I think that was a headshot. It's kind of hard to say. All right, he angry. Where you going, Bubba? Coming this way? What? What are you doing? All right. Let's get some more handgun points here. Shoot him in the nuts. Nothing else is coming after me, right? This guy's got the worst brain worms, man. I'll tell you what. Okay. We killed him. Let's harvest that stuff. Oh, the satchel's in the ring. Okay. It's right in the boxing ring there. Oh, I didn't see you, Bubba. And you're feral, too. How about that? Oh, yeah, go that way. <laughs> go that way, dummy. Right on. Okay, let's, uh, that's metal. He's not feral. Okay, let's get the satchel. Look at all those lockers over there. Chance for uh, backpack upgrade, right? Chance for backpack upgrade. It is noon on day 70, but we're ready to go for the Horde night. Um, I'm actually picking these up for to get the paper, because uh, we need to build our paper up. Um, we're going to scrap that. It's just not worth... Oh, can we scrap it? We can't. All right. It's not worth selling. Not for four... Taking up an inventory slot for 14 coin. We got to be judicious about these things. All right. We got some more paper here. Oh, shit. Feral. <laughs> Down with the sickness. Let's see what's in here. Uh, yeah, I'll take both of those things. Can I get paper with this? Yep, I can. I really probably shouldn't be doing that with my katana, though, because it's just wearing out the durability on it. Any more live dead ones in here? Not that I can see. Okay, let's go check all these lockers. All right, um, let's put Lucky's on, too.
Nice. Okay. So no backpack upgrades on all those friggin' loggers, man. That sucks. Let's get the rest of the loot loot skis here. Nice find. What does this give us? Just wood? Oh, wood and paper? Wait. No, I think that was from the other thing I just picked up. Okay. We don't need uh, wood. Okay, I think that's all the loot in this main room here. Uh, let's go back out to the bike and offload, and then we'll try these side rooms. Let's just uh, systematically go left to right. So we got two businessmen in here. Door is locked. Let's set that down and... What did I just do that for? I just threw away the wood, too, that we could use to upgrade those, didn't I? Nitrate powder, bone fragments, wood. That's probably not enough. Maybe it is. Okay. Let's open this door up. Chuck those. Okay, he's a normal and he's a normal. And he is a feral. There's three of them in there, including a feral. So, there we go. All right. Probably didn't even need to do this. Better be safe than sorry, though. I've got a terrible track record <laughs> in Ravenhurst uh, for dying a lot, so. Yes, I do. But, you know what? It is what it is. Never said this was going to be a permadeath series. That would be pretty much insane to even think that's possible. I mean, and and make make any significant progress. Um, I'm going to leave that. It's not really worth taking the time to take up an inventory slot. And I have over a full stack of plastic back in the base, so I don't really need plastic in any great quantity. Um, that's a pretty good spear. Pretty good spear. Let's, um, I'm going to actually take this apart because I want uh, the leather in particular, but we also get mechanical parts too. Um, all right, I think we're done in here, right? Let's get rid of this. And uh, I think we want to keep everything else. Um, we're going to take these apart too. Might as well just do it now while I'm thinking about it. All right, let's see if we can put anything in here. Okay, we might have to pop a steroid. Here, but let's just uh, continue on. I'm going to just put a frame down without upgrading it here. Oh, this door is unlocked. We got a normal biker. If it's just him, yeah, I think we'll just fight him without burning an explosive. Let's get a sneaky sneak shot. Oh, nice. All right. That worked out pretty well. Oh, shit. Other room? Yeah. Okay. You can't uh, loot those uh, commodes there. 
I only hear one Zeke in the other room, so I think uh, we're okay for the moment. More jars. Definitely want those. All right, that takes care of Darlene. Uh, you know what? I'm not taking any poopy. We got lots of poop. Probably more than we'll use for the rest of this playthrough. Garden's mostly planted. There's just a few more things that we need to do, but... Uh, we don't even really need that. That we need. Take the coffee... Though technically we don't really need that either because we got lots of it. <laughs> uh, let's get the paper. All right, that brings us to these rooms. Uh, but they might be clear already. This is a big locked room. More chances, hopefully, for... Um... Here, let's do this one first since the door's already open. Uh, more chances for a backpack upgrade. That just goes out to the main area. All right. Yeah, look at all the lockers in here. The shower stalls. Okay, this room's clear. Let's loot. French toast recipe. Damn. All right. That sounds good. I wonder if we can make it or if we need a stove. Uh, yeah, we'll take those things. Don't think there's anything in there. Coming away with a nice little collection of jars from this place. I will take that. All right, come on, backpack upgrade. Okay, I'm going to just take a steroid because... Tired of being like massively encumbered here. Okay, same thing. All right, let's do it. Wow, that's a nice find. Really nice find. Okay, so does this place, like, not have any fat loots anywhere? I think we've covered the whole thing, haven't we? Maybe it's on the roof? Huh. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Let's pop up there really quick and just take a look. Uh, can I put anything at all in here? Yeah, a couple things. Uh, we don't need this. These we can turn into bones again. Gives us a couple more slots there. Uh, this, let's just drink right now, and that'll give us another slot. Uh, we don't need that. And I think everything else we want to keep. All right, let's just go see if... 
Um, there's maybe something in the backyard that we're missing. It's like there's more Zeeks around too. Dropped him. We have to watch the durability on this pistol. He's not feral. He's not feral. All right, let's go up this other ladder. This is where the action's going to be. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... He's not feral. He's feral. Feral Edgar is pretty dangerous. Feral utility worker is pretty dangerous. Feral skater. What the hell, man? A <laughs> zombie exploder. Yeah. All right. How do we want to play this? Um, I guess I could pull one at a time. He's normal, so let's let's bring him over first. Okay, we could probably kill both of those ferals with one explosive. Uh, okay, none of those guys over there are ferals in you know in sight, but we do have the exploder who's pretty dangerous. Uh, this feral skater is kind of far away from everybody else, so let's pull him next. He's dead. All right. If we, the thing is, is once we throw the explosives, we're waking everybody up. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, I threw that too hard. Okay, so the two ferals are dead. The two Edgars are going right to the spikes. I think that worked out reasonably well. 
Get some bleeds going on them guys. Hey, where'd you come from? Oh shit. I can't move very well. Oh, he's right on me. We got this. We got this. Okay, we got to get going here because I'd still like to get to the trader and then get back to the base. Oh, good. We can get our pipe. Oh, no, it just disappeared. Son of a gun. Uh, before Fortnite starts. So we got we to gotta scooch here. Uh, we'll take that. There was just a gut thing down there. Oh man, I'm glad I didn't hit that with the axe first. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I busted the things off with the explosion. I bet you that's what happened. Okay, we've got to make some decisions here. We don't need the springs. Um, we don't need the twine. I mean, it's useful, but I've got, you know, I've got it back at the base, right? Uh, I'm going to chuck the ink. I've got lots of that. I'm going to chuck the leather. Uh, let's just drink this. More for the jars than for any other reason. And um, just look here really quick. Yep, more jars. That's what we wanted. Uh, no. All right. And let's pop another steroid. Steroids, steroids, where are you at? I'm probably looking right at you. There you go. Okay, grab the paper. Oh, man. That could have been a, a mine. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> that could have been a mine. All right, let's get the... Let's pick those actually back up. Since we got the steroids. All right, I'm just going to grab that and let's go. All right, I'll meet you, meet you guys back at the trader. And we'll do our turning, and then we got to skedaddle back uh, to the base for Fortnite. And I'm going to just bail off the front here. Okay, can we offload anything? Nothing, huh? Wow. All right, let's turn these into bones. And uh, we have one slot for the reward, so we'll be okay. I think we do, right? Yeah. I'm not going to sell to him. I'm just going to grab the thing and go. Uh, we're about, we can sell everything to Bob later. Thank you, Survivor. Okay. Um, steel boots. Oh, man, this is hard. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to take these. All right, thanks, buddy. All right, you guys, I am going to skedaddle back to the base, get uh, all my ducks in a row, and then uh, we will start the next episode on Horde Night 70. We will see how well uh, the base does tonight. Uh, my plan is to combine both melee and explosives. And, um, you know, if we can, if we can hit the explosives get them on the the stairs at least half the time then i think we'll do pretty good uh if they you know if they fall more often than that then it's this base design's probably we're probably not going to continue with this what i'm trying to say i mean it works great uh, it's it's safe it's effective you can survive but it's just not a really good xp generator uh, but it's very good at crowd control um, and then it is in my plans, it's my intention, uh, for us to move down south uh, this next coming week. So I'm going to start, uh, probably what we'll do in the episode after the Horde Night is we'll, we'll do like a, a little bit of a, a scouting trip and we'll go, um, you know, we'll go down south and, and look around a bit and see where, where we want to live and maybe even clear out you know, clear a place out if we make that decision. And 
plop down a land claim block to, you know, to prevent repops and then, you know, start getting to the business of moving. So that is the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will see you in the next one on Horde Night 70. Bye-bye.